Okay, the re-spotted black. Um, there's been a few famous black ball games down the years. Dennis Taylor, Steve Davis, 1985. Uh, myself and Mark Williams in the Masters. Um, can't remember which year, but I don't care. I want to forget about that one because I lost it. But um, the way to play a black ball game. Now, the old school way, I can't actually remember who was the first to play the new way that the guys play, which I'll show in a minute. But the old school way was you put the cue ball in either the yellow spot or the green spot and try and send the black off the cushion pretty much up and down the spot. So the, the black ball ended up in the middle of this bulk cushion here and the cue ball was down that end of the table. Now, it was... It can go wrong, as you can see. I mean, I've actually played it not too badly, but I have left a pot on with the black into the yellow pocket. Now, the, the, the new way, as I say, I don't know who invented it, actually. Um, but it's such an easy shot. It's so easy, in fact, that I don't understand why when players lose the toss of the coin to see who goes first, they put their opponent in. Because if you get it, you know, really, really good, to get it right, I mean, it's just as it, what I'm going to do is basically put the black onto this side cushion and the cue ball on this side cushion, touch a right hand side, and it's, it's as I say, it's, it's a pretty straightforward shot. Black on one cushion, cue ball on the other cushion. I've actually not played it as well as you could. You'd rather have the black somewhere down here and the cue ball here, so then there's no double. I've actually left my opponent a chance of a double of this black into the center pocket. But as you can see, it was very, very easy for me to get the black safe. If we go on and play out this um, black ball game, me being me, I'm probably gonna have a go at the double. I was pretty bad at doubles, but you would probably try and leave, in terms of going for the black in this middle pocket, you would probably try and play it in a way where the cue ball is going to stay safe on the cushion should you miss the black. Because the thing about doubles is why you don't see professionals take them on that often is because if you miss it, you have no idea where the black's going to finish. It could hit this knuckle and come back down towards the cue ball, get this jaw here and go up towards that pocket. So you have no real idea. So if you're going to go for it, which I am here, I'm going to at least try and get the cue ball fairly safe. Have I got it? Have I got it? See, there you go. I've missed the black. Well, I mean, it's, it's game over. But uh, that shows you, um, you know, in a re-spotted black, taking doubles on, it's not really a sensible option. I actually didn't expect to get that close. I've disappointed myself. <laughs> I thought I'd got it. I thought I was going to carry on the black ball game. There you can see I've gone for the double, a very risky shot. I've obviously left the game, you know, my opponents won the frame. I've missed the double and the blacks over the pocket. So if we reset it and play the boring shot, let's play the safety shot. So probably there's a couple of ways of playing it. I'm going to play the black on this side of the cue ball. I'm going to try the cue ball off this cushion, send the cue ball, try and get it on the bolt cushion and try and get the black safe to its own cushion here. Pretty good. The most important thing in a black ball game is the black, getting that safe. If you get the cue ball tight in the cushion, that's a bonus, but you've got to make sure that you don't leave your opponent a pot. It's a bit ironic this because I've left myself the shot that um, is the old school shot from the break off in a respot. I'm going to try and pot the black, not pot the black, I should say. I'm not going to try and pot the black, it's too difficult. Send the black off the cushion up in a straight line on this cushion here and leave the cue ball down there. So again, the most important thing is black safe. Send the black up in a straight line. Okay, it's not great. Now, I've certainly not left my opponent an easy shot here, but I have left a pot on that certainly I would definitely take on. And there's an element of safety in this pot. If we're gonna play the black into this pocket here, we can kind of we kind of know the cue ball is going to come down in this area, so we're going to have a pretty safe cue ball. Now, in going for a pot, you, most players you, you you try and almost miss it thin because if you miss it thin, that means the black's going to hit here and end up on the bolt cushion. If you miss it thick, 
The cue ball's not going to have enough pace to come back down the table. If the black hits here, then here, and it's going to end up around here and leave a pot on. So if you're going to go for the pot, err on the side of thin. But obviously it's a bonus if it goes in. Try and get that safe cue ball. Oh! Let's have a potted it. I've won the frame. Quite happy with that. No more safeties. Another scenario you could find yourself in on a respotted black or black ball game is the black has landed tight on its own cushion. It's so tricky to try and, I mean, you could try and play a thin edge of the black to leave the black there and bring the cue ball back up there, but you've got to be so thin. And let's be honest, you're running the risk of missing the black altogether. And you don't want to lose the frame like that. You could try and play black on a side cushion, like the break off, white and that cushion. But because the black's tight in the cushion, that becomes a very difficult shot to judge. So there's a, a more interesting way of playing this shot. Because we're pretty straight, we can play a double kiss. We can leave the black there and double kiss the cue ball, bring it back up here. Now it's quite, it sounds like it's a trick shot, but it's quite a useful shot to have if the black and the cue ball are in a straight line. Any sort of angle here, this side or this side, you could kind of double the black up the table and try and get it safe around, around this area. But I'm going to play a shot. I'm going to hit the black full in the face. So the only problem with this shot, I'm aiming low on the cue ball, but I've got to make sure I don't put any side, unwanted side on that cue ball, because if you hit any side, the black ball has got a chance of going to either corner pocket and the cue ball won't come back in that straight line. So important, you find the middle of the cue ball, but below center. And it obviously depends how fast your table is, how hard you hit this. And get the cue ball back up here in a bolt cushion and hopefully leave the black there. So next time you're in that position in your local club, play that shot and you're sure to impress your friends. Mm -hmm.